welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be doing some spring cleaning. So this is going to be part of my spring cleaning series that I've been doing on my channel. I've done a few videos so far. So if you're not all caught up, I will leave those videos linked down below. But this video is going to be, like I said, a lot of spring deep cleaning in the house. We're also going to be doing some regular tidying up because you guys know I don't like to do like any deep cleaning until my house is tidied up. It's just a lot more organized that way. And then we're also going to be doing some things around the house just that are aesthetically pleasing. So um, I go into the kitchen and the bathroom and just do some fun things in there. Also, our back porch was covered in pollen. I live in Savannah, Georgia, if you're new to my channel, and it's pollen season here in the south. So everything outside is covered in that yellow green dust. And so it is very satisfying to watch me clean that up. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope it motivates you guys. And let's go ahead and get on into it. I get tons of questions about my bedding and our bed all the time. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I got our bed from Wayfair about three years ago and I cannot find the exact link anymore. I'm not sure if they sell the exact same bed anymore, but on Wayfair.com I just like looked up, I think, high back tufted tan headboard and um, it popped right up and so I've researched it lately and there are some that are very similar to this so you can look that up but we also have a sleep number bed I'm sure you guys have seen sometimes it is like lifted up and like reclined and then um, sometimes it's laying down so it is a sleep number bed I absolutely love it and then the comforter that we have on the bed is from B cozy like the letter B and then cozy and and I love it. I've talked about this before, but because we have dogs in the house that shed, well, one of them sheds, the other one's a poodle and he doesn't shed, but our black lab definitely does. And I feel like faux fur hides dog hair so well. So I love having the dogs in the bed sometimes and getting to snuggle them. And by having this comforter on our bed, it hides the hair so well. But the comforter didn't come with any pillows, so all of the white faux fur pillows that are on the bed came from at home, and then our Mr. and Mrs. pillows came from Hobby Lobby, and then I also recently got the um, pink and white throw blanket, very springy, but I love it, and I got that from Home Goods. I noticed over here in the corner of our bedroom that we were having a bit of an ant problem and so I just put the other attachment onto my Dyson and just vacuumed that right up. It came up so easily and I just continued to vacuum the rest of our bedroom. So since I was vacuuming in the bedroom, I also wanted to vacuum out the dog beds, but before I did that, I just wanted to freshen them up a little bit. So I just mixed about um, a cup of baking soda, and then I did about five to seven drops of orange essential oils, and I mixed that together, and then I sprinkled it onto their dog beds, and I let that sit for a little while before vacuuming it up. But if you are gonna make something like this at home for your dog beds, be sure that you are using some essential oils that are safe for your dogs. I know that some essential oils are not safe for your dogs, but I, I do know for sure that orange is. It actually helps calm um, your dogs and it also deodorizes and also repels fleas as well. So I figured this would be a really good thing just to 
sprinkle on their dog beds. But while that is sitting on their dog beds for a little while, I decided to clean off our door and I'm just using the method wipes to wipe down our door. I'm showing you some close up clips here. I meant to do this whenever I was spring cleaning our bedroom and just forgot to. So I'm getting to that today. So before moving out of the bedroom and moving on into the kitchen to clean that up, I'm just gonna spray this pillow mist all over our bed. And this is in the Love Scent, and this is the Rose and Vanilla Love Scent because they actually have two of them. But I get them from Bath & Body Works, and I am just so obsessed with this scent. I actually have it in the body wash and the lotion, and I've even had it in the candle before. This is just one of my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works. But now, like I said, I am moving on into the kitchen and I'm just gonna start loading up our dishwasher. We had some dishes in the sink and luckily my husband had unloaded our dishwasher that morning. So everything was completely out of the dishwasher and ready for me to load it up. When we were younger, we used to sit on the grass. Among the flowers, we just let the days pass by People would tell us to get a grip of ourselves And get a job, we didn't care what we were told Cause when we were younger, we used to sit on the grass And go, damn, I don't wanna grow old I wish I could turn back time Mm-mm-mm Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace We didn't mind sitting out in the cold It was impossible to make us embarrassed We were free Do you remember stealing smokes from your parents? Sometimes we got a bit out of control When they found out we ran from home just to scare them We were free when we were 17 mm -hmm. When we got older We tried to stay in touch so one time I decided to stack all of our Oreos into these glass jars. I'm not sure if you guys remember seeing that video or if you've ever seen it before, but I'll link it down below. It was one of my extra special clean with me's and basically those are just cleaning motivation and then me showing a little extra something to show your family love. And I decided to make these cookie jars and just stack all of the Oreo cookies into these glass jars. And I always get questions about these glass jars I got them from at home and I actually got three of them and love them they're so good for so many different things um, and then I also picked up these Oreos and I decided to get the mint kind because it's almost St. Patrick's Day and so I figured this would be so fun and festive to have in the kitchen but also 
the vanilla Oreos because we love those as well and they're just so bright and fun. So I thought that would be a little bit festive too. So I decided to get both packs and just stack them into these um, glass jars and I just love how satisfying this looks like it looks so pretty in the kitchen and so satisfying every time I look at them honestly they are gone so fast but I was also gonna say that if you do want to do this at home and you have jars that are as big as mine you're gonna need about two family size packs of Oreos because it does take a lot of Oreos to fill these jars up but now next on my list is to go through our junk drawer. And I am honestly so embarrassed to show this to you guys, but I think everybody has a junk drawer. Let me know down below if you have a junk drawer too. <laughs> I'm sure you do. I think I don't know anybody without one, but mine is definitely a disaster and has gotten way out of hand. I don't think I have decluttered it the whole time we've been living here and it's been on my list to do forever. And I promised myself I had to do this whenever I spring cleaned this year so I'm finally getting to it now that I am spring cleaning and it's so funny because I put this off for so long for seriously months and it took about 30 minutes to do about everything that was on our mind talking to you give me butterflies and you, you guys can see how much better this looks we got rid of about i would say 98 percent of what was in this drawer and basically everything that is in there now is stuff that we're just going to grab as we are going out the door and also some pens and pencils and markers and stuff but now I am just going to get the laundry out of the dryer and start folding that. So when I was in the laundry room earlier, turning over that load of clothes, I noticed that it was starting to really get out of hand. I had been putting some clothes away um, that need to go to Goodwill and I had just been throwing them under the sink right here. And obviously, as you can see, a bunch of other really random things had been thrown under there. Some decor, the shoes, um, magnetic balls that the kids love to play with, a leash, my purse, you guys, can see this is starting to turn into a disaster so I just wanted to nip that in the bud real quick nobody told me to settle down day nights and late nights don't get around but there's something about you something about you I like about you I like You're crazy for saying I should slow down But maybe I'm escaping the love we found There's something about you Something about you I like 
so I feel like the laundry room is one of those rooms that gets dusty so quickly. I know it's just because there's so much lint in this room. And so I just got my Dyson and put the little attachment on there so I could vacuum up all of the lint and dust off of our washer and dryer. I feel like it works a whole lot better this way instead of using like a cloth um, because I feel like I can't get all of it up with a cloth and if it's wet. So it works a whole lot better if I just vacuum it up this way. But then I decided to move on to our medicine cabinet and this is another area in the kitchen that I have been dreading decluttering and organizing for so long seriously months just like the junk drawer it just seems so overwhelming to look at that I kept procrastinating and putting it off but to be honest once we started working on it it went by so quickly and I always wonder why did I procrastinate so long getting this organized but we really did need to go through everything and just figure out what was still in date and what was not especially with everything that's going on right now with sicknesses and viruses and all of that I just wanted to make sure all of the medicine that we had was up to date um, and if there was anything else that we needed to go out and buy that we could do that at this time. But as you guys can see, I just started by taking everything out of this cabinet and I just put it onto the island and Justin and I had a little system set up and he was going through everything and making sure it was in date and then um, he would just put it into a pile and then I was going through the pile and organizing it how I liked it. I get you. you close maybe hold your hand a little while somehow i know you're gonna be the girl that i'll end up calling my own we ride around in style sleeves rolled up glasses on and then you make that smile and my heart starts racing when i'm with you So really quickly, I just wanted to remind you guys what it looked like before, and this is the after. We ended up putting all of our vitamins down on the bottom shelf just because that is what we use more often. And then in this little container here, I put allergy and stomach medicines, and then I also put pain reliever and first aid in this one. And then the ones up top, we have cold and flu, and I put this one up top because this is the one that we use the least. And then we also put all of our dog's medicines up at the top as well. But now I'm showing you guys this weird little corner in our kitchen. This is part of the baseboards and it always collects dust and dog hair and just it gets so gross over here. I swear one day I'm going to get this filled in. I don't know why they cut it this way whenever they built the house, but I hate it. Like I said, it just collects dust and everything nasty so easily over here in this little corner. But the rest of the baseboards over here along this wall also needed to be cleaned. So I'm just going to do that at this time and then I also ended up cleaning over um, where the kids sit at the bar normally they sit over there for breakfast every morning and their feet just kind of touch the wall over there so I just wanted to wipe that down and get it all clean again and since I was going ahead and doing the baseboards I just hit those up as well Dreamed about nothing else other than you 
So now that I am done with the baseboards along the living room, I'm just moving back into the kitchen and you guys can see these rugs that I recently got. They were white whenever I got them, just maybe a little bit off white, but you can see that they're already starting to turn a little bit brown and get discolored. So I just wanted to carpet clean those today. And before I got to carpet cleaning, I just wanted to vacuum up the kitchen. That way we didn't have to worry about any crumbs that were in there and dirt and I could go ahead and get all of that up before I started carpet cleaning but a lot of you guys suggested that I try out OxyClean um, because I was talking about how I wasn't able to get our white rug in the living room completely white again you can totally see where the sectional is on that rug and I just wasn't able to get it back white so I actually ended up just buying a new rug but with these I am trying out the OxyClean and we just decided to sprinkle it onto the rug and then we also put it into the carpet cleaner itself where you put the solution and we just started cleaning it that way. I don't know about you guys, but seeing a carpet cleaner just do its thing is so satisfying to me. Just watching all of the solution and the dirt get sucked up into it, and even just seeing how dirty the water is afterwards, there is something so satisfying about that. I told you guys in the beginning of this video there was going to be some very satisfying clips. But anyway, I did want to let you guys know that he had to go over this a lot, and I still feel like it wasn't... 100% I would say most of it came out probably about 80% of it but I would like to try it again in a few days and just see if we could get any more of it out and then maybe just stay on top of this a little bit more maybe make this like a bi-weekly cleaning um, chore that we do just to make sure they stay white. So now I am just coming out onto our back porch and I'm just gonna start cleaning up out here. You can see it is a complete disaster. The kids had had their Play-Doh out here and just left it and now it was all dried out. And then, like I said, there was just that pollen everywhere. You can see all of this dust and it just wasn't an enjoyable place to sit anymore and the weather has been so amazing lately that I just wanted to go ahead and get this back porch cleaned up. That way we could start enjoying it again. So I'm just gonna start by putting all of the kids chalk into this box that I have here. I recently got them a ton of chalk. Like I said, the weather has been amazing and I've been trying to encourage them to get outside a little bit more. And my kids go through chalk really quickly. So I just wanted to buy them a bunch of chalk to get them by for a while because they love it and then I just started cleaning up that table and then I wanted to wipe down the table get all of that pollen off
So you can see here that I brought my vacuum outside and I am just vacuuming off our uh, rug that we have out here. It is an indoor outdoor rug and I got it from Walmart when we moved in about a year ago So I'm not sure if they still have it, but I love it. I feel like it hides so much um, It hides dog hair. It hides the pollen. It's just a perfect rug I am still so in love with it, but we also got all of our outdoor furniture from Walmart as well So and that was also last year, so I'm not sure if they still have it, but that's where we got it from but I'm just starting to take all of the cushions off the couch and I'm just gonna spray the wicker part down and try to wipe that down as much as I can to get all of the pollen off and then I am just going to use my vacuum and try to vacuum off all of the cushions before I put them back on. If I could go back in time I'd pack my bags right now Okay, so I'm about to get in the bath. I feel like there's pollen all over me, but before I do that, I am going to make some of my Epsom salt with essential oils in there, and I just love to always have this on hand. I keep this um, little glass container over there by the bath, and I always like to have some Epsom salt in there with like some tea tree oil and maybe some lavender, something really relaxing. Um, so I'm gonna make that now. And then I also got all new like face washcloths um, to take my makeup off with because this is what mine look like. You guys have probably seen these a million times when I'm folding my laundry, but I have these specifically for washing my face. I don't use them for anything else, but I just, they're gross, you know? <laughs> so I bought some new ones, they're white, and I'm thinking now I'm gonna start doing like a load in itself just for my face wipes, and I'm gonna Clorox them. And um, that's like the way they do it in hotels and stuff and how they can get theirs white again. So fingers crossed that'll work for me. I'll keep you guys posted on that. Another thing that I feel like I need to update you guys on is our shower door. It has been so clean ever since you guys saw me clean it in a few videos back, but that is all due to the squeegee that we have in there. It's up there and every time we get out of the shower, we just squeegee it down and it has kept the hard water stains away. So just a little tip for you guys, if y'all have hard water where you live too, get you a squeegee. I couldn't 
the next day. I have a few more things that I need to do, but the kids wanted to play Monopoly yesterday. They have been, especially Julie, has really been into Monopoly lately. So I decided to take the rest of the day off and just pick up today. So I still have a few things to do, not a whole lot, um, but I need to clean the stairs. There's a lot of like dog hair and dust on the stairs. And then I just wanna wipe it all down and disinfect as well because, you know, that's where your feet go all the time. And I feel like I mop my floors all the time, but I don't really mop my stairs as much. So um, I'm just gonna kinda like wipe it down with some disinfectant and a microfiber cloth. I also need to vacuum and mop and I'll probably do that tonight after the kids go to bed. But um, the thing that I'm about to get started on right now is the sitting room. You guys know Miss Molly, she sits over there all the time and this bench that she sits on is always a mess. I'll show you guys some footage, but it's always a mess. Behind it always has dog hair, so I need to clean all that up. And then the last thing that I have on my list is to put away all of my Grove items. I just got some Grove in, so I need to put that away. I got a lot of like hand sanitizer from Grove because I know right now it's really hard to find hand sanitizers, but when I ordered um, my Grove shipment, they did still have hand sanitizer. So if you're looking for some, maybe check there. Um, and I will leave the link down below for you guys. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So before we get started, I just wanted to show y'all some close-up shots of what this bench looks like. That way you guys don't think I'm crazy and I'm cleaning a clean bench because from far away it definitely does look clean and you cannot see all of these spots. So I wanted to do some close-up shots and also along the window here you can see all of the dog hair and you can also see it behind the bench. So I pulled out the bench and this is what it looks like behind. So I just wanted to start out out by vacuuming first. I don't like to start by wiping things down first because I feel like if I do that I'm kind of just wiping all the dog hair around and it's just getting dispersed everywhere. So I like to just vacuum up all the dog hair and then I will wipe things down after that. So I am using this real simple clean leather furniture cleaner and conditioner and I get this off of the Grove Collaborative site as well but I love this stuff. You guys are going to see I show y'all some close-up shots of me actually cleaning this up and how easily it comes up and I also feel like my leather is just a lot softer after I clean with this. It definitely conditions it very well and I'm totally obsessed with this stuff. Tender, tell me what to believe. I ain't got a sweet tooth for lying. So now I'm moving on to the steps and I am also doing some before shots over here as well so you can see what all I plan to clean up and why I feel like my steps are in desperate need of some cleaning today.
Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes You can see here that I've switched out the attachment on my Dyson vacuum and I just put the one with the bristles on there. I feel like I could get in between all of these little rails a whole lot easier with this on there and just get all the dust out. But I absolutely love my Dyson and all the attachments that I have on there. I feel like you've seen me use every attachment in this video and I recently heard that they came out with a new Dyson and I don't know too much about it yet. I haven't done research but a few of you guys messaged me about it on my Instagram and it looks really cool from what I've heard it, it is gonna have like a separate battery so whenever your battery dies you can just use the one that's been on the charger and change it out but that's all I know about it but Dyson needs to hook me up <laughs> because I am seriously such a Dyson fan and that sounds really cool I really wanna know, really wanna know if I Down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down so now that I've gotten everything vacuumed, I'm just going to wipe down the handrails and also all of these rails on the side of our stairs. Um, and I'm just using my antibacterial spray from Method and a microfiber cloth to wipe this down just because, you know, they're handrails and this is a touch point and I would just like to disinfect as much as I can right now. up here in the guest bedroom and I'm just about to put away all of the Grove stuff and I was going to show you guys where we keep all of the like personal items that we get from Grove Collaborative. I have a stockpile in here um, in the guest bedroom because we have a lot of guests and I decided just to put them in here that way if our guests ever forget anything like toothbrushes or um, face wipes or like there's tons of stuff, shaving cream, things like that in here. So if they ever forget something or need something, then they know they can go straight there. They don't even have to ask for it. I just tell them, help themselves to anything in this closet that they might want to try or need. So yeah, I'm about to put all of the Grove stuff in there, but I decided it'd be fun to give you guys a little haul of what I got. So all of this stuff in this box is personal items. So I ended up getting a few packs of face wipes. I got that one from Rooted and then I also got this one from Yes to Coconut. I also got a bath sponge. Oh, I need to put this one downstairs. I put all of my like hand washes downstairs. So, but I got this one from Method. It's coconut water. Oh, I also got another one of these and another one of these. <laughs> And then I also got this body wash. It's from Method and it's the Energy Boost one, but it smells amazing like citrus, ginger, and sea buckhorn or buckthorn. I got two of these candles. This is in the basil scent. 
and I have tried these out before and love them. It's been a while since I've gotten them, but I decided to purchase a few more. I also got this room spray from Mrs. Myers. It's the honeysuckle scent. And that is like one of my favorite scents from Mrs. Myers. I also got this chapstick here. It's the Grove brand and it's mint and argon. Um, you can see I got a few different toothbrushes, some for kids and some for adults. I got this hand cream here. I love this hand cream. It's the Grove brand and it's bergamot orange and it's really nice. Um, and then I've never seen this before. Let me turn it around. But this is the Mrs. Myers oat blossom scent and I opened it up and it smells really nice. I don't think it smells like oats at all. It smells, it's a very like perfumey floral scent I think but it smells really nice um, and then like I was telling you guys I got some hand sanitizer so I got this one that is the spray it's the Grove brand um, and these are also from the Grove brand and this is the blood orange scent but I got four of those <laughs> Now this is later on after the kids had gone to bed that night and I just like to vacuum and mop whenever they aren't in the way because I feel like our floors are just like naturally shiny. They're laminate. They're not actual hardwood and for that reason I feel like you can see footprints so easily and so um, I just it's a whole lot easier when they're not running through and stuff so all I needed to do was actually vacuum and mop in the living room because you guys saw the day before I did the kitchen at that time and these are the areas that need done the most we don't really walk through the front part of the house like the foyer and everything too much so I do that every other time I vacuum and mop but right now all I needed to do was the living room and I was so glad because I was getting so tired at this point I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you would like to see more of my spring cleaning series, like I said, I will link that down below for you guys. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new here and this is your first time seeing me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.